What's up everybody, it's AJ with EachOther.com. Today we're going to be checking out these WeatherTech mud flaps. They're going to go on the rear and front of your vehicle and we're going to be putting them on a 2022 Ram 2500. Taking a closer look at the mud flap here, it's going to be great for keeping that gravel or dirt or whatever your tires are kicking up from hitting the bottom of your truck and ruining that. It goes on here really easy, you see it's custom fit to fit your vehicle. It goes on over the trim here. So it really looks good. It looks factory like it's supposed to be there. It's also sturdy molded plastic. You see it's not just a flimsy flap that goes back and forth in the wind. So you can hold up to bigger rocks and dirt. Back here at the rear, same thing. It's molded to fit this portion of the truck. It even goes around the trim just like up front. Clips in here on the side, same two hex head screws, just as sturdy. You see it's gonna hold up to kicking rocks and dirt behind you. Now we talk about what they are and what they do. They're not too bad to install, it's just a couple screws. Follow and see how I did it. We're gonna start up with the front mud flap on the driver's side. Now they're all marked, so you just look here. It's gonna have LH for left hand, that's gonna be the driver's side. All we have to do is remove these two hex head bolts. So I got my ratchet here. I'm gonna loosen those up, and we're just pulling the bolts out, so don't remove the plastic piece behind. We got one here at the bottom. There's gonna be one a little further up top. We'll take both of those out. With those out of the way, we can put our new mud flap in place. You see it already has a section that's a cutout that's gonna go around this plastic piece and clip in. We're gonna set in place right there. If you come along to the back side, you can see how it fits the groove perfectly. Right there, there's also a clip on the underside that you wanna clip on the fascia. So I'm going to push from the inside out to get this tab to go up and around this portion as we slide it up. I suggest you could use a screwdriver if you want to pry it out a little bit more. But you don't want to pry it too much so it doesn't grab on there. There we go, slid up in the place. Then we'll replace our hex head screws. Now once we got both of these tightened down, we do the same thing on the passenger side. Here at the rear, we're gonna be on the driver's side, so make sure you look at your mud flap and get the right one. It's gonna say LH, that's left hand, that's the driver's side. And what we're gonna do is remove these two hex head screws right here. Don't remove anything else, because this goes right over it. So I'll get my ratcheting wrench and back those out. And then we got the other one down here, we'll do the same thing. With our hex head screws removed, we're going to put this into place. We have a tab here that's going to slide over this portion of the underside of the truck. But this goes over just like that. You can see it fits in the groove. I'm going to slide under there and line up that tab. Here's the tab here, so I'm pushing from the inside to push that tab up and over. It lashes into place, and you can see it fits right in there. Then we'll reinstall our hex head screws. With those fully tightened down, we're going to repeat the same process on the passenger side. Overall, wasn't that bad to get them installed. It took no time at all. I like how easy it was. I like how I didn't have to take off the trim panels that were already on there. It went right over there and fit like it was supposed to. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and hope this helped.